Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about gathering yield. What is that and why is it important, you may ask? Well, gather yield is what it sounds like. How much yield you will produce when you gather something. This applies to harvesting, mining, skinning, logging, all of them. Now, this is a very important thing to keep in mind if you want to make any coin in New World as a gatherer, or if you're leveling a trade skill and gathering mats to do so. Because obviously, the more resources that you get when you do any of these tasks, the more coin you will make, or the less time you will spend doing them to finish your trade skill grind. Now that we have that out of the way for the newer players, let's get into why I want to look at Gather Yield today. Well, on release there was a sort of bug in the game, and what this bug did was is it made the Gather Speed Territory card actually give some yield, instead of speed. So at the time it was possible to full double your yield at 200%, which would then double proc. You would get two herbs from a hyssop, two times the rares from harvesting, logging, mining, even skinning when it did proc. It was big. You could pull anywhere from 22 to 30 rares in a single gather. Well, as you may have guessed, it didn't take long for this bug to be fixed, and the ability to hit 200 yield was lost to us, and we thought forever, until now. With some recent changes, we are once again able to hit 200% yield. And a big thank you goes out to Mixologic, sharing the exact things we will need and doing some tests for me while I've been busy with the Return to a Turnum event. And the best part, this time, is it's not a bug. Using the game systems and having all of the right things will be all you will need to achieve this now. So, let's get into it. So the first thing that you will need is to find yourself a skilled musician, because we will need the new music buff Fortune's Favor, which will increase your gathering yield by 10% for 90 minutes. You will need the 10% buff, so be sure the musician can play it at the highest skill possible. Anything lower won't cut it here. This shouldn't give you much trouble though, there is always a musician playing for tips in every populated settlement. Next, you are going to want the territory owned by the faction bonus. This will give you an additional 10% gather yield. This one will be pretty easy, I just wanted to mention it for our running total. And next, your attributes. You will want to go into them to the 250 mark. Dexterity for skinning, constitution for logging, strength for mining, and intelligence for harvesting. Doing this, of course, will unlock the attribute perk 10% yield for whichever gathering you plan to do. This is always a very good option while gathering, but critical in achieving what we are trying to now. So be sure to respect before you begin gathering. The next thing you are going to need to do is have the town board project bonus for your appropriate gathering skill. Farmers harvest for harvesting, lumberjack spirit for logging, miners resolve for mining, and hunters bounty for skinning. You won't have complete control over this one unfortunately. The way these work is if a member of a company who owns the town starts the bonus at the governor's table, anyone who owns a home in that town will receive the buff, regardless of company or faction. You will generally find the bonus, but it will require you to settlement hop from settlement to settlement till you find the one that has this bonus running. This is why I keep one tier 1 home always available. This is my bonus home. I move this one around from different settlements in order to always get the bonuses I require. I always recommend this to anyone, because depending on only 3 settlements for all of your needs is always a big issue. Having a tier 1 home you can easily and cheaply move around depending on your needs, that's what works best for me anyway. Next up. This one will probably be obvious, but you will need to be using a powerful proficiency potion. These of course add 15% yield. You can craft these at your workshop, or of course purchase them from the market. So be sure to grab a few of these before you head out to gather. And next, our tool. You will want a 600 gear score gathering tool depending on what you are trying to gather. The reason for this is because you will want to have the max possible yield on that tool. As you can see on this one, I have 19%. This is also critical, because New World behind the scenes averages out the totals of the bonuses. So on a 600 gear score tool, the yield you will actually have is 19.1% gather yield from your tool. So now that we have all of these, we are looking at a bonus of 84.1% gather yield. So why is that important? Well, because of a new thing they added with Brimstone Sands, and that is the Brimstone Sands Fort. This fort, if controlled by your faction, will give you another 10%, but not in the way you would expect. The way the 10% from Brimstone Fort works is like this. It takes your total combined gather bonus. So, in this example, 100% is the baseline that the game assigns to you when you simply gather something, plus 84.1% in bonuses. So a total of 184.1%. Then multiplies that by 10%, or 0 0.10. This gives us a fort bonus of 18.41% for controlling this fort to our total gather yield. So, with all of this, we are looking at a whopping 202.51% gather yield. This is, of course, over the magic number. Anything over 200% will now give you double procs on rares, double herbs from Hyssop, double regular resources like Orichalcum. Anything that you're gathering, really. You see, double procs.
I don't know about you guys, but this was pretty exciting to me. Being able to gather so much so quickly again, it will really make things nice. I had thought this would never be achievable again, but for now it is. Will they nerf it eventually? Who knows? But what I suggest is, take advantage of this while it works. This could and will save you hundreds of hours of farming for those mats you need for training your crafting skills. Double the coin you make gathering. It's just amazing. Okay guys, that's all for today. I do hope this helps, and let me know what your highest rare proc is in the comments. And I would like to send a huge thank you out to my Patreon members. I will have more special content for you guys very soon. I have just been super busy with in-game stuff, but have a lot planned for you guys coming up soon. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.